All right, we're going to slap the sucker on there. Not bad. I'm going to slap you sucker. No, don't start. What I'm hoping is that this doesn't... Do that? You just lose the master link. Did you just lose the master link? Holy... Is that what I just heard the noise? God. Yep. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning me to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Might be a little loud. Might be a little windy. Might be a little windy, but we're in the great outdoors here in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. We've got the beautiful cat's meow over there, and we're fixing to hit that up here shortly. But on today's episode, we are going to be uh, showing a little bit of love to the Mongoose Ardor. Yes, Project Ron Burgundy. We're going to be installing the Micro Shift Advent 9. There's no clutch on it, but... What was great about it was our boy, De Hoseman from Compton, De Hoseman. Him, from Compton himself, went ahead and sent us this group set. We bought the shifter, we got the chain, we got some little ins and outs to kind of co fully complete this. Some what have so, yous. Yeah, some what have yous. So uh, De Hoseman, thank you very much for getting us started on this. Now uh, today, we're gonna be installing it on the Ardor and if you guys remember a while back, we got this very budget WTB single walled Oh, they remember because everybody started freaking out about single wall. So. Single walled wheel set. It's 27.5 by 2.4 with the WTB Riddlers on there. I'm not crazy about be, the WTB. Yeah, we're going to be installing those as well on the bike. If you guys remember, this bike on the initial review, it's got a free wheel. So in order to uh, put this big old cassette on there, it's 11 to 42 tooth. we got to have the free hub. So we're going to be installing that as well. And then after we get done doing this install, we are going to be taking this thing down to Cat's Meow and doing a little real-time review for you. Might mix it up a little bit we are happy you are here it's beautiful out let's go ahead and it's get gorgeous. started on the r door project ron bird we're gonna get these uh, pressures right before we hit this trail what pump is that now this is the blackburn trail or pump it's the blackburn pump okay let's go ahead and start talking about what all we got as far as our group set goes and then some of the little ins and outs we're going to be doing as well all right so first thing let's talk about this derailleur the advent nine speed micro shift official enjoy jose sabas heck yeah cool official the use the hoseman now one thing that i'm saying that i'm not really a big fan of is there's no barrel adjuster that i want as much as as adjustment as i can have you know what i mean because you never know when something's going to go bad so this doesn't have the adjustment on there i'm going to go with this like a medium to long cage it looks to be decently long uh the jockey wheels are nice and smooth that's for sure they are plastic and there's some resistance there, you know? We're gonna install this thing. I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that this thing is gonna shift like butter right out of the box. So I'm not even gonna mess with any of this crap back there just yet. Now this is the Trail Boss, I think it was called. Uh, trail Trigger, the Trail Trigger, Advent Trail Trigger. Oh, it's kinda nice here, look at that. Got a little rubber action on the thumb. Rubber action. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, that's different. Not a lot of throw there, check that out. So thumb shifter only. Not an index shifter. That's okay. But I like that little thumb placement. It actually looks like it. And we'll see how it mounts up on the bar. But it kind of tucks up behind itself. Now this is 11 to 42 tooth cassette. The cassette that is on the uh, Mongoose right now. The free hub, whatever you want to call it. Is a 14 to 38 tooth. So we'll definitely have a little bit more climbing power. And a little bit of top end speed. We're going to see how it does on the cat's mount here shortly. Alright, that thing's nice. Not a lot of weight to it. Don't have a scale out here, but there's not a lot of weight to it. Oh, that feels like it's aluminum. And I think that's steel. That's steel and the biggest cog on there is uh, aluminum. Oh, we don't know that. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, that's the official scientific test right there. It's aluminum. No. That's aluminum. That's know. steel. Now, if you guys seen our last mill time segment, we got the KMC X9 9 speed chain. We are going to be sizing the chain out because remember, this mongoose is a one by. So we got that. We got some tools here. And if you guys remember, these were sent to us by Berserker Nick. And these are anti-theft 9mm skewers. You guys can see those little hex tool thingies there. Uh, basically, in order to get these things off, you're going to have to have a tool to do it. So uh, 
it's gonna be kind of nice if somebody's so like, like, hey, carry the tool. yeah, that's the only thing. You gotta carry a damn tool. Let's go ahead and break this bike down. We're gonna get done breaking it down. And then we'll probably just start by transferring over the cassette. I'm hoping that the cassette's gonna fit. And then we'll start with um, transferring over the rotors and everything else. We'll get all that installed and then we'll see you back here once we're ready to um, get the derailleur installed and the shifter installed. We'll go from there. Let's get the ceiling's all in them damn things. Oh, what a mess. Tubeless. That's what it is. Okay, well, the install went pretty well on the cassette. I mean, it fit right up. I'm not sure. I guess the whole rule thing is if it'll fit a 9 speed, it'll fit a 10, 11, and a 12 or something like that. I don't uh, know. I call BS on that one. It's all over the place, and we, we could be wrong, you know, but we're pretty damn, uh, we're scientific. So, anyway, um, I'm going to put the uh, rotors on here, here in a little bit. But uh, before I did, I just want to talk about these tires. And we're going to talk about these two on the real-time review. Now, these are the WTB Riddlers. And apparently, they just come with cheap wheel sets and cheap bikes. Is that right? It's not like a... I don't know. You don't really uh, see these tires too much. Uh, this wheel set was $179 that include the tires. So I'm sure it's not one of those tires that's uh, really expensive. Um, it's definitely not tubeless ready. It does have a... Um, a funky looking tread on as you guys can see it's not the greatest looking of treads so i'm sure uh, it's not really thick looking either so i'm sure it's not going to um are you do judging very well. on its looks kind of am i mean we're not going to rate this tire but we're going to talk about it i'm worried on the cat's mail you guys know that turn that we got right before we hit the uh, tabletop my tire test area i'm not sure how these suckers are going to do but uh, we're fixing to find out but let's go ahead and stick the derailleur on this guy and so far so good everything has been fitting up and uh all the tools have been brought surprisingly so far the uh put the skewers in the wheels the little anti-theft skewers and i have to say i'm a fan uh i mean we'll see when i say if i'm still a fan whenever we're out on the trails and i don't have a tool with me but i love how clean they are and i like the whole idea this back one 135 and that front one's just a regular 100 man it fits perfect not bad looking yeah it looks all right yeah. i mean the wheel set looks good like i said the quick release just makes it look nice and clean and uh the only thing i'm kind of skeptical about is remember we did have the what the hell are those the compass tires they're 27.5 by 2.6 i like the fat tire stuff so they're not definitely not 2.6s but i'm just hoping that they grip really good i don't know and we don't get a flat remember they're single walled you know but they're 100 and what 79 dollars pretty damn cheap Okay, shift test. Hope everything goes as planned. Not bad on this uh, install at all. I'm a big fan of that shifter. That well, shifter is nice. Rode with it yet. I, I'm a big fan of it. We'll see. All right, go ahead. Pedal that bad boy. Pedal. Ready? Yep, just one. Eighth gear. Smooth, it buddy. Did it shift? It shifted. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Oh, we got wind. Did it really shift? It just shifted. So freaking smooth. All right. Seven. Wow. Okay. I hear a little on uh -huh. Six. Okay. Fifth. Yeah, a little bit. So Fourth. Third. Second. First. Okay, now let me do Wow. Ready? First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. All right, now I'm going to get down with multi clicks. All right, thumb all the way. Full press. Multi Full press thumb. Oh, jeez. All right, install everything went great on this some, bike. Get some lube up in here. Yeah, we need to get some lube. Got some chain lube. Now, um, we'll let's do a Chris see. H style. Yeah, uh, old the shed. Chris, yeah, the shed. <laughs> we're gonna find the master link. We won't got any spray, but we're gonna get this lube so we know where we're at. I'll, I'll and pedal. we'll go this way, I guess. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Start a pedal. Watch your hand. Damn it, Chris, we lost the master link. All right, go for it. Good. We have gone to Bliss, and this is 26. <laughs> I'm going 26 up front. He's still at narrow. All right, guys, here we go. Cat's meow. Official test track. Now, we're not going to be timing this bike today, but you guys saw the whole group set install, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, the hoseman again, thank you so much for sending it. 
And I'm just happy that shifting. I was so over the damn, that was it called the Pro Rush group set? So over it. Oh, the clutch doesn't work for crap. When it's not engaged, you got nothing but chain slap. And then when it's engaged, you, you can't shift. Crazy, I don't know. But, um, so we got the group set on here now. And it's shifting really well. I would have a camera back there for you guys. But sadly, this bike does not lend itself well to different camera angles on the chain stay. It's really bad, so I'm just gonna have to tell you about it. All right, so we'll talk about these Riddler wheels a little bit and this whole wheel set. We're gonna find out how they do as far as tracking goes on the Cat's Meow. I've got my little famous churn area. But uh, 2.4s, I'm not excited about. You know, this frame can handle 2.6. Very rarely do you ever find a big box store bike that can handle a 2.6. So it's nice that this one will and I really wanted to use that ability, but we'll have to be in the future or something like that because this wheel set was pretty damn cheap. And although it's a 2.4, um, we'll see how the grip is. And there's some climbing here and a little bit of loose gravel, kind of. Not bad. They don't look the greatest. The tread's not the knobbiest on them, but when it comes on a wheel set that's under $200, what, uh, what do you expect? You know what I mean? That group set is nice and quiet. The alignment, everything was great on it. You know, it's weird because you don't hear a whole bunch, at least we don't hear a whole bunch about micro shift stuff. You hear uh, constantly about a uh, box or you hear SRAM. We have the micro shift Acolyte eight speed on the GT. Great clutched or chain stabilized group set. Now, the Micro Shift Advent 9 that we've got in this guy, first nine speed bike we've had on this channel. And guys, it is butter back there. I'm shifting without uh, letting off the pedals, like I'm putting tension on it. And it's shifting no problem. I'm in second gear. The 11 to 42 tooth is gonna be such a, such a nice change up as far as climbing seem to beat that 34 or 38 I think it was 38 and I'm curious whenever we maybe do another couple upgrades of this bike stage two and three how fast this can be on the cat's mail because this bike right here this is the record breaker and it's just it's so smooth man this bike just fits me perfectly 27.5 it's awesome there was talks about doing a uh, a mullet to this thing captain's coggle like that there was talks I'm sure these tires over time, you're going to have to probably replace them within the first, eh, I'd say probably three months, depending on how much you ride. But the rubber is really soft. Let's help digging in with this terrain. All right, guys. Well, we're almost to the cat's meow. Let's uh, go ahead and get you guys there. And uh, we'll see you at the top of the cat's meow. All right, it's official. We are at the cat's meow. And we've got the Mongoose Ardor over here. The group set held up wonderfully. Everything has been pretty solid on this guy. And uh, we're gonna see how this chain stay protector does on it and see if we can get any chain slap out of there. As I said, I do apologize about the camera angle. Um, I just can't fit one back there. Mongoose Ardor, let's do it. Cat's meow. Seat post is down, standing room only. Let's hit it. Let's shift her down. Pretty quick on the shifts, not too bad. Now we've got the Mongoose. Ardor project on Burgundy. Here we go. I'm looking forward to this. Now remember, this is the record holder for the cat's meow. Group set. A little bit of chain slot back there. But again, this bike is just so sized for me. I'm able to uh, really just absorb everything anyway. And I'm not putting it through a bunch of stress. Having to Okay, having to, uh, what I'm trying to say here, Ollie? What do you call that when you're on one wheel? First day on top. Uh, okay. Ooh, big air. Uh, nice. Nice, nice. Manual. That's what I was looking for. Manual, there you guys are. 
All right, not bad in the chain slap. How do you guys like that crotch, crotch cam? All right, so far so good. It's not loud, surprisingly. I was waiting to tear that sucker up. All right, we got spot between the trees down here. Golly, I missed this bike. Oh, a little bit of chain slap there. Now we're gonna get to test these tires down here. You guys know my tire test area. Okay. Wow. They're doing okay there. Here's where it's loose. Oh, a little loose on the front end. But they jump really well. Completely bombed out that fork right now. And I'm just wondering if uh, I reached the rim with the tube. I think I did. <laughs> Oh man, dude, they corner good. Look at that. The Riddlers. Somebody in the comments was saying that they had some Riddlers and they liked them. And really, those little switchbacks, man, I handle them fine. They handle them fine. I did come down pretty hardcore on that front tire on one of those tabletops up there. And uh, it seems to be doing okay still. Yeah, I didn't taco anything. I mean, crap. How was it? Oh, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, my bike did good. If this is a $6,000 bike and you kick <laughs> all over. Hey, we got, you got to say that again no, for the I camera. Cannot. I cannot. <laughs> oh my God, I'd be so in trouble. Oh man, no, this, is, this was awesome. Um, she held up good. Everything was nice and tight. And uh, yeah, all right, man. Well, the Advent 9, let's go back to the truck and uh, let's talk about it a little bit. You guys got to see the R door back on the cat's meow. When this thing gets fully upgraded, I'm gonna be so freaked out on what time we're gonna get on the cat's meow, man. That was a fast run, I know. All right, guys, just got off of the cat's meow and just got off the Mongoose R door project, Ron Burgundy. And let me tell you guys something, it was a success. Awesome. I was a little sketched out on the Riddlers as far as the climbing and my turn. A little sketchy in the turn, climbing. They're pretty soft. They did really good digging into the dirt and I like that. I just think that these are going to be like the tires that were on here previous. Um, I think they're going to probably wear out in two to three months depending on how much I ride the bike with these tires. But you guys can check those things out in the affiliate links below. Now, let's talk about the grand finale. I do apologize again that I wasn't able to get you guys a cam review for the advent, but you guys could probably hear it pretty good. Not a lot of chain slap, a couple of portions there were. Um, now, under pressure, I'm, I'm really happy with this group set. Under pressure, it doesn't feel like it's too clangy and that chain just wants to go all over the place. It listens to you, and as long as you're pedaling, man, it goes where it needs to be. Right. Now, there wasn't any type of chain jumps or chain drops, nothing like that. I'm pretty happy with it. But it's kind of unfair to really talk about this group set being really good or really bad on this damn bike going down to Cat's Meow because this bike is just, it's nasty. It's a nasty bike. I can absorb everything on that trail. So you can't wait for a fork. Oh, dude, yeah. The fork bars are ugly stem grips. I mean, some brakes on this thing. It's going to be a scary bike, guys. I'm so glad you guys tuned in for this video. You got to see the insole of all this stuff. The shifter I'm happy with, very comfortable. Uh, De Hoseman, thank you so much for getting us started on the Advent, sending us the uh, cassette and the derailleur. And uh, man, uh, very easy swap over, very easy transition. Swap them. Swap them. It was very good, man. Standing room only up on the cat's meow. I enjoyed the hell out of the bike, and guys, I cannot wait to upgrade this thing some more. I think forks, bars, stem, grips, brake, I, it, I mean, pedals. Yeah. Pedals. So, yeah. so Ron Burgundy is now up on your top top uh, yeah. three, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say Ron Burgundy is on the top three. Uh, find out Friday if the GT is going to be up there or down there. You know, uh, Friday we're going to do the tubeless. I'm about to jump on it tease you guys a little bit but guys we appreciate you watching wolf videos as always we will see you guys on the next appreciate you watching the entire thing and getting through the install because that was a little rough remember we're in nature but uh we'll catch you on the next one guys please like subscribe check out those affiliate links maybe even check out the last cup of coffee link